Whenever he can lay down for a nap and is willing to, I put him down to go ahead and take a nap. Otherwise, it's like dealing with Godzilla or the Incredible Hulk. What's up, ma'am? How you feeling? What's up, tribe? And welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me again. If you're new here, my name is Mariah, and today is baby boy's six-month birthday or half birthday, however you wanna look at it anyway. Time is flying by. I cannot believe that my baby is already six months, but today I actually wanted to take him to the aquarium, but all of the tickets were sold out since of course everything is on a very limited basis. So instead, we are gonna go hang out with my parents. I'm gonna go and do a little bit of shopping for him for this summer. And I also ordered him a gift that I've wanted to get him for quite some time now. So I'm gonna also do that as well as take his pictures and some other things so this is basically just going to be a vlog all about him and how we are celebrating his six month half birthday here we go hey y'all so i'm back we actually went to my mom's house uh or my parents house yesterday and i took his pictures and we didn't really do a whole lot that's why i didn't really vlog a lot i try to take pictures of him like every week usually i'll take like his monthly milestone pictures but i try to generally take pictures of him every week because it's not like we go many places and he has so many cute outfits but i'll insert a picture that i got from yesterday and oh look at my baby he's so cute six months and trying to sit up so he hasn't actually like rolled over or anything like that he's not really not interested in rolling over um i've tried helping him tried guiding him and he just has zero interest so really all we're going to be focusing on is improving his core strength for the time being and hopefully that will help him as far as sitting up is concerned but today we finally got baby boys six month birthday gift. yeah you excited he seriously would have got this like even if it wasn't his half birthday because i've been eyeing this for a while and have been wanting to get it for him but let's go see what just came <laughs> ah! you excited to see what came Finally here, oh yeah, boom! We got our jolly jumper! Okay, I've been busy cleaning, but Maverick is finally asleep. He had a little bit of playtime and stuff, so now that he's finally asleep, I'm gonna go ahead and put together his jolly jumper so that he can utilize it starting today. I don't know how long it's gonna take me to put together. I'm hoping that it's like super simple to assemble, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and I hope and pray that he actually likes this. <laughs> And doesn't hate it after I've gone through the effort of getting it and putting it together. So, fingers crossed. Here we go. Wake up to you in the morning And tell me how you feel it Seem like your body don't know how to hold you So maybe I can't instead You got so many battles you don't need to fight Feel it with you every time it isn't feeling right I wish I could take your pain I could take your pain some things I've never seen in life You hurt them but it don't show on the outside Been repeated every day But you're my, my lady You're my baby So anything you got is mine God is mine so that was actually a fairly simple assembly. I am going to have to adjust it once he wakes up, of course, and fit the, I guess you could call it the harness part, specifically to his size of, um, I guess, waist or belly, however you wanna say that. But I am definitely excited and I definitely like that this was easy to put together. It took probably all together maybe 15 minutes for unpacking it all and putting it together. So super simple to assemble. I'll see how easy it is to actually get him to fit into the harness but as soon as he wakes up I'm gonna feed him and change him and then we'll see how he feels about getting in here and trying it out. All right baby boy is strapped in and pretty much ready to go. You ready for this? Huh? Ooh, you are heavy, you know that? Okay, I think this about, I'm gonna say right about. Okay. Okay. 
little up for you. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You like that freedom? Someone definitely loves it. Yeah, you've been like smiling and cooing the whole time. For the most part, at least. Yeah, yeah, when talk yeah. what do you think? What do you think? Yeah, what do you think? Is this a hit? Yeah. So this is definitely a hit with him. I don't think I've ever put him anything and he's been like this actually excited. He's usually more like content and things, like kind of curious, but this is like actual genuine excitement for a change. So yeah, you excited? So I actually might consider getting him a different type of activity mat to go up under this to give him some other element uh, of both like learning and stimulation other than him just jumping. But I did make sure I put it near the window because he does like to look out the window. But somebody definitely likes to bounce. Yeah, somebody likes to bounce. You see yourself? Who's that baby? Who's that baby? Who's that baby? Oh yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna let him kind of explore his body a little bit more and play in this for, I think they said the limit is about 15 minutes. And then I will pull him out of this and do some more tummy time with him. But I also think he likes the fact that he gets to be closer to the dog without being held because the dog's right there and he's constantly trying to touch the dog, uh, but he can't quite reach him. So I think this might make their interactions a little bit better too. The dog's good as far as like, he doesn't do anything. He doesn't really play like roughly or wildly around him or anything like that. It's more like the dog kind of avoids the baby. So I think this might kind of show him that like the baby isn't something to almost be like scared of or so timid around, but we shall see. Good morning. Good morning. Hi buddy. Hi, buddy. Yes. That fun? Yeah. Is that fun? What? 
Look at you girl. Look at them little happy feet. Them chunky legs. What's up, y'all? So I'm back. Mav went in his uh, Jolly Jumper again this morning. And I also have something exciting to share. This little boy decided to wait until he was exactly six months to go ahead and roll over. I'm gonna go ahead and insert that clip right here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Almost. Oh, <laughs> did you change your mind? Come on, buddy. You can do this. Look. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Yes, swing those legs over here. There you go. There you go. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Come on, Maverick. Come on. You can do it. Oh, you got it. Are you going to go back in the other direction? with that for a minute. Come on, tuck that arm. Oh, you can do it, come on. You can do it. Oh, almost. Come on, buddy. Good job, come on. Baby boy is finally rolling over, which is like, I'm excited about it. It also is like, kind of made me realize that I can no longer take the breaks that I was taking, meaning I didn't really take real world breaks, but like I could usually pop him on his activity mat to go ahead and shower. And because he can roll from his back onto his stomach, but not in the other direction yet, I'm definitely going to have to kind of put him probably in one of his chairs just so I know that he's good for the times that I want to go ahead and shower. Oh, that's my coffee. Should go ahead and get that before it gets cold again for the umpteenth time today. I obviously love progress, but as you can probably hear right now, I think he's rolled over. Yeah, he's in his pack and play right now and I put him on his back and now he's already on his stomach. So now that he's doing it, he's like, yes, I am the boss. I am the man. I know what I'm doing. I'm grown, basically. You want to say hi? You're not in a good mood this morning? No. No. Okay. I'll make it quick then. So basically today after he eats, we are just going to have some downtime. We'll probably read a couple of books and have some playtime. And I also have another gift to break out for him. I was waiting until he turned six months to go ahead and break it out. But, um, <laughs> So yeah, my YouTube auntie Katrina sent me a gift and I'm excited for him to go ahead and use it. I might actually combine it with his activity time for his Jolly Jumper. Um, so I think he would appreciate being able to do it as a standing activity. Okay, it's coming, it's warming up. You're still gonna have to wait. Even if I'm talking, you're still gonna have to wait. Don't want your tummy hurting. But yeah, I will crack that open. I'm gonna go ahead and feed him and then I will pick it back up with you guys. Oh, okay, so 
Mav got super cranky and I figured I would just go ahead and feed him and he wound up falling asleep, which he's been going through a little bit of a sleep regression. So whenever he can lay down for a nap and is willing to, I put him down to go ahead and take a nap. Otherwise it's like dealing with Godzilla or the Incredible Hulk. But I have his gift from Katrina right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it together and get it ready for when he wakes up. That way he can just go straight into playing with it. I'm like so excited, especially because right now he's right at the stage where he is very much into everything that's like cause and effect. So her message to us was, we hope you enjoy and that you continue to bring music to everyone around you. Congratulations again, Mariah and Jeremy from Katrina Forever. Thanks again, girl. So she got him the Baby Einstein Magic Touch Piano. Oh, this is so cute. It's so petite. It's so tiny. I love it though. Super, super cute. And here is the little cards that go in it. So it has different songs on, which I didn't know, but it has different songs on each side. If I could even flip something around. Jeez. So there's one on that side and then one on this side. Not that he's like quite old enough or at a stage to do it, but it's always great to encourage these things. This is too freaking cute though. Look how small it is. It's like so tiny and so perfect. I'll see what he thinks when he wakes up. So I'll see you guys in about probably like 20 minutes. Here we go. You want to show them your outfit? Look at that outfit. So cute. Yeah, you're so cute. What's up, ma'am? How are you feeling? Feeling okay? Okay, let's see how you like this. Oh, what's that? Oh, mommy didn't turn it on. Will you? <laughs> you like this? Leave the card alone, buddy. Or will it work without the card? Sure does. Let's do it without the card. I have a feeling you're going to get distracted and keep grabbing that. <laughs> you want to touch it? Here, let's put your tray on. Let go. I'll give it back. Let's put your tray on. There we go. There you go. Excited? You like this? Yeah. Trying to figure it out. <laughs> you okay? about the poop? Are you done? Yeah, you done? Okay, okay. Okay. Say thank you. 
Huh? You say thank you? Are you pooping? You are pooping, aren't you? Well, that's all for this vlog, guys. Thanks so much for joining us for Mab's half birthday. I swear these six months have flown by and I am definitely looking forward to the future and what's to come with this little dude. If you like this vlog, guys, make sure you give us a huge thumbs up. We hope you're all having a wonderful and amazing week and we look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.